I don't know if you can see from right here what's changed on my bike. But I've been doing a lot of mods. So I'll keep the angle to the left, angle to the right. I think the roads are clean enough. Let's go for a ride. Let's see if I got my everything set up. My last part that I was waiting on, I really wasn't waiting on it. I got tired of waiting because I ordered basically the same thing from China two, three months ago before the even bike even got here. Because this right here is the mod that I had planned for this bike for my first mod. This was the whole reason I wanted some apes. I wanted some bigger handlebars. I wanted some man bars, not these little girl bars. So after I'm done with these, if any of you have children or any of you that got grandchildren that need a pair of handlebars for their little pink bike, I will have them for you. But I've got new bars, new grips, and these are the shims. Hopefully I got enough slack to uh, get the brake cables and all the other cables up and out and over here. But we're gonna find out and we gonna find out right now. gonna work. I got two problems. The hydraulic lines are too short so I've got to uh, get some longer lines and refill the brakes and bleed it. But this is the riding position I'm going for. So I've already kind of decided that the speedometer computer is gonna go down here to the right of the headset. It fits kind of easy and it's got good reach for me to reach the buttons and change things like that should I need to. USB I'm gonna put on the left side of the headset. The grips, I think I'm gonna be able to make them a little bit longer to fit my hands, uh, my big old hands on there a little bit better. I, it looks like I only need about a half inch on the left side and I think the right side, I mean if I get another half inch on that too because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna add a uh, thumb throttle to this. So I'm going online right now to uh, Amazon and I'm gonna order two new lines and then I'm gonna get some replacement screws for the uh, four that hold the uh, handlebars on because I'm really afraid that when I crank them down, they're gonna strip. I just don't like the tolerances on them. So I'm gonna get some black ones at the hardware store that are heavy duty and hardened. It's gonna work. I got enough slack on everything else to uh, make it work. Yeah, it's gonna work. It's a good thing this is a winter mod because I'm down for four months, so another couple weeks is not going to matter. Sweet! But oh man, this looks and feels so fucking badass. Now let's see, should I do the mile and three quarter? Let's see here. 
If I can do this with thumbs. Let's go sport. Let's go race. So I've been planning this mod right here since before I even received the bike. One of the first things I had planned to do was to put these handlebars on here. But as you can see, my hands are at about the top of my shoulders now. Not above my shoulders, they're not below. They're pretty much right even with it. This is so fucking badass. This is sweet. This is so sweet. actually a good place it's off of all this shit up here but uh oh yeah this is fucking sweet but look at this curly manly room I got fat room on here for my hands you ready for the close-ups I know you want to see the detail I relocated the odometer, speedometer, trip computer down here. And it's actually a good place uh, for visibility. Keeps all the shit out of the way. I'm a boomer. I don't need a screen in front of me like millennials do 24 seven. The USB port I've got over here for right now, you know that shit gets moved around all the time. Okay, so starting at the left side, this is what I had to end up with. The shortest cable that I've got to work with is actually my shifter cable. I did not change that out. It's a little tight. I may change it out, I may not. I put these new Ergon grips. These are like $35, I wanna say. They're German. I love them, they're very comfortable. I did have to cut them down, just like my other $5 grips that I bought. I am at four and an eighth inches long here. But if you look right there, that fits my hand. That fits all the all of my hand. The palm of my hand is on that rest there. And I've got access to, to change speeds. And I've got two fingers on there, which is all you need. Actually, it's one finger more than you need. Right hand grip. Kind of cleaned it all up a little bit by not putting the uh, uh, computer screen over here. I've got the same four and an eighth inch cut on my grip. Palm, two fingers. Two fingers right there on there. Perfect fit. The brake lines, the hydraulic lines, they needed to be replaced. Replacing the cable, I now have a little bit more slack on that front cable. And the back one, I've got a lot more slack on it. Now, Cable management here is still a freaking mess. I think when I get some of that protective stuff off of Amazon to cover these things up, I'm gonna make it look a lot better. Another thing I had to do is I had to relocate the horn. I don't know why on the wiring harness, but they only give you like two inches of wire for the horn, and it was just binding up where everything was going. All right, so it looks like I'm gonna be able to mount my GoPro, GoPros right here on that, on that mount that I've got on the handlebar. Another thing I wanna point out that I just figured out, and I don't know if it's the way the bike was assembled, but the bracket coming off of the headlight 
fits better with everything if you install it on the inside of that clamp. Clamp's still tight, but everything's parallel and equal. It just fits much better. All right, so this is showing you all the slack I now have on the hydraulic brake line. I was able to add so much more. I wanna show you a secret tip, tie wraps. So, you know, most people are just gonna take them and cut the ends off like that with their pliers, right? That leaves a sharp edge that you're gonna cut your leg or your fingers or your hand on. It's an electrical, licensed electrician hack tip. So if you take your pliers, twist them off, Look at that, smooth, flush. And then there's a tie wrap right there that I cut, and it's sharp. It's got all kinds of sharp edges on it. So when you're taking the tie wraps, just twist them off. You'll thank me for this later, trust me. No leaks. Damn, I'm good. Okay, so this is the brake line that was in the back. Got a little more slack here, slack up here. And then of course, you know, I needed more because the handlebars are four inches taller. All right, man, it's Friday. It's 4.30, so I'm 10 minutes late. I think I got everything covered here on this mod. Let me know what you think. Not that I care. <laughs> Not that it matters is what I mean to say. All right, man, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe because forks our next, it's gotta happen. All right, see ya. I think I'm gonna have to go put some apes on my Harley now. I see why they're popular.